yesterday. So essentially the news that carbon dioxide levels have peaked once again. It's the 30th year running that the levels of CO2 emissions in the atmosphere has, has hit a high. But also the UK Met Office has announced that the global temperature rise since pre-industrial levels, so since before we started pumping lots of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, has now reached one degree Celsius. Now, a rise of one degree Celsius doesn't sound like an awful lot, but to put that into some context, scientists have a threshold. They believe that if the global temperature rise goes above above two degrees Celsius, we're going to get into what they call a dangerous climate change scenario. So if we keep the temperature below it, we're going to see some climate change effects, but on the whole, we'll be able to deal with them. If it goes above, we're going to have things like the Arctic else, uh, ice um, melting, um, problems with extreme sea level rise, um, problems with um, disease, problems with impacts on wildlife. I mean, there's, there's a whole kind of list of things. It goes on and on. But essentially, what they're saying is if we go above two degrees, it's going to be very worrying. And the fact is, today, they're announcing that this year we seem to be halfway halfway there which is um they say a frightening prospect so all the more important that politicians and leaders try to make progress at the big talks coming up the end of this month and next month in paris um there was a, a big fanfare after kyoto all those years ago and uh, you're suggesting today that progress has been you know frankly extremely disappointing what is paris meant to do well, people are more optimistic about Paris, but basically what you need to do to, to at least stabilise the temperatures and not make them go up too much is to cut emissions. And what's been quite different this year with Paris is in the run-up to this, all of the countries involved, 195 of them, have been submitting their pledges as to how they'll cut their emissions by 2030. The problem is, if you add all of those pledges together, it still means that the global temperature will rise by 2.7 degrees Celsius by the end of the century, which is above this two degree threshold. So that's a real issue. I mean, if we do nothing at all, the temperature will go up to about four degrees Celsius by the end of the century from pre-industrial levels. So th there is something of a change, but uh, even before the meeting starts, people are worried that we're not doing enough to cut emissions as much as we need to, to cut them. And, you know, a one degree Celsius rise. We've seen this this coming, but it's it's a worrying mark to to point to get to today. We'll talk more in the weeks ahead, uh, Rebecca. Thanks for that. Thank you very much, Rebecca Morella.